Yeah, so then she said, you can either sell the boat or I'm out of here. So I'll just tell you like this, man. I went fishing this weekend. And ain't nobody gonna tell me what the... So what we gotta do now is put this ship lap, it's just one by six MDF faux ship lap up here and continue to wrap that around. But we spent the greater part of our morning working on this door. This door has sauce and visible hinges. So we spent a lot of time messing around with the jam, trying to figure it out, going over the instructions, drilling holes, getting the hinges set, really checking everything five times before we move forward. Because on something like this, you only get one chance. And if you mess up a step, it's a pretty big mess up. You have to remake the jam. You have to get another door more than likely. But thankfully we were able to do it with very minimal mistakes and not anything too big that would just kind of render the project useless and we'd have to start over. So at this point right now, we are, we've got the door hung. We got the sauce invisible hinges. This is gonna be a secret door. So what's gonna happen here is this ship lap is gonna come and then it's gonna cut right on where the, the door jam and the, the door meet. And we're gonna try to get as little clearance there as we can. So this will all look essentially like this wall here. It'll just have a small cutout where there's a door. So it's not super secret, like you pull a, a book and this whole bookshelf opens, but it's more obscure. It's, it's gonna be something that someone might not see at a first glance. So you push this in and you come into this little kind of chamber area. We got this light in here we gotta move. Uh, well, actually it's not us that's gonna be moving it, but you push it in here and you get to come into this little area where there's actually another secret door right here. <laughs> so a lot of secrets going on here, but at this point what we're gonna do is we're going to start running the shiplap on this, this old door. This is an old door. This was salvaged from a really old house. So it's got some imperfections and some chipping and stuff, but all that is gonna get covered by the shiplap. And we're gonna start doing that right now. Got it done. Secret door. The only thing giving it away is the reveal right here. But you can push on this thing and it's got some pretty tight clearance right here. So you push on it and it gets pretty close to the jam, but it doesn't touch it. We try to get the closest clearance we could so we wouldn't have a huge gap there. And I think it came out looking really good. So we're gonna install like a catch mechanism that basically stops it in place because it has a tendency to want to swing out past where it needs to. So we'll install some kind of magnet. We bought a, a handful of magnets and catches. We're gonna see which one we can make work. But I'm real happy with it. This corner is gonna get a 90 degree corner molding and that's gonna clean that up. 
Well, we definitely made a mess here today. But the good thing is we made more than a mess. We made this secret doorway. And it's really hard to see, especially from an angle. Like if you're standing where the camera is, where you're looking from now, or if you're standing from over there, it's very difficult to see. Obviously, if you look at it straight on, you're gonna be able to see it because there's no way around that. With those sauce invisible hinges though that we used, it's, it makes it pretty cool. You don't see the hinge, you just see the ship lap. So we spent most of our day figuring out the hinges because neither one of us had done that before. So we wanted to double, triple, quadruple check everything on that. We did not want to get a new door and we did not want to remake that jam because that would have just taken a long time and we wanted to get this job done in one day. We didn't want to turn it into a two day thing. Our part is done. We're just done with this. They're going to have painters come in and paint it. So one thing though we got really lucky on was the break in this door broke perfectly on one of these one by six shiplap boards. We did not plan for that. We got lucky, very lucky. If we would have had this split in half, that would have been a terrible eyesore. Something, it would have been bad. That's pretty much it. This was a learning process for us, a challenge. I'm glad we took on the challenge. Now if we get one of these jobs in the future where we're doing a hidden door, I'll feel more confident. And that's the way this always works. You start just doing something small, then you do something a little upgrade, then you upgrade and you upgrade. And pretty soon you're one of those guys that has 30 years of experience and people want to ask you a lot of questions and you know a lot, and, but you're a lifelong learner. So doing something like this, even though it's a challenge, it's something that we enjoy. So hopefully y'all learned something from this video. I would have liked to have been more instructional, but we were figuring it out today too for the first time. So let me know what you think about this secret door or secret doors in general down in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.